Oh gosh, I hope you are fine little kitty. I'm sorry you were not able to see the glass door. <laughs> Not again, but I'll surely answer your question of why you could not see the glass. Hey friends, I'm sure you two are curious to know about this invisible property of glass. So, in today's episode, let us see through to find a clear answer to a solid question. Why is glass transparent? Zoom in! Glass, despite being crystal clear, we see its presence everywhere. Right from the window of your houses, to the specs you wear, to scientific tools, to see beyond the horizon and so on. It is, in all sense, a highly revolutionary invention that transformed the world. So, before we peek through its translucent quality, let us first learn about its structure and where it comes from. And to know that, we need to go deep inside the earth to its crust where silicon and oxygen react together to form silicon dioxide. And the molecules of this mixture come together to create a regular crystalline form called quartz, the main ingredient you will find in most types of glass. You see, when we burn the quartz at a high temperature, the heat energy puts pressure on the molecular chain of silicon dioxide to break them apart and convert them into flowing liquid. And when this liquid, silicon dioxide, cools down again, it does not transform into a solid crystal again. That's because as the molecules lose energy, they are unable to move into an ordered position and form a chain as it used to be before and convert into something called amorphous solid, a material with a disordered composition of a liquid which allows the molecules to fill any gaps. This makes the surface of the glass uniform, allowing light to pass through it without getting scattered in different directions. But the vital question is, how does the light pass through it? Well, to find the answer, we need to dig deeper into the glass to observe the atoms of silicon dioxide. As we know, atoms are made of a nucleus in the center, surrounded by electrons orbiting around it. But what most of us don't know is that an atom is mostly empty and there is plenty of gap in between the orbits of electrons. Yes, this empty space leaves a lot of room for the particles of light called photons to pass through the atomic structure of glass without getting absorbed by electrons and thus the glass looks transparent. I know what you are thinking, then why do other objects look opaque and not transparent? Well, that's because the gaps between the electrons of an opaque object are very small. Yes, these tiny gaps do not allow the photons to pass through it and get absorbed by electrons, making the object look opaque. Trivia time! Did you know glass can be formed by lightning? Yes, because of the high temperature, glass can naturally form when sand is struck by lightning. Also, another amazing fact about glass is that when it breaks, the cracks can move at the speed of 3000 miles per hour, which is five times faster than the average airplane which travels at 575 miles per hour. Whoa, that could be dangerous. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Look, John Cena. Ah, I'm not falling for that again. 
Oh, never mind.